what kind of narrative did they feed you, man? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Check this out. Oh, look at this green. Dildorium. Green Dildorium. By the way, I could have created a short, less than 60 seconds, so much easier, and gets massive fill, at least decent views compared to long. I'm just doing this video for those who has been sticking around for quite some time and enjoys my, you know, two cents and my B-grade entertainment. So this is for you, all right? Sunday, let's do this. First of all, let's actually see what's happening, man. Yeah, it's just like coming back every single day. Bull run, bear run. Oh my God, I'm getting married. The bearish sign. I broke up. Bull, bullish sign. Oh, anyways, let's actually see. Everything is pumping, literally. And I'm actually going to show you some of the stuff that I actually came up with. So, without wasting time, one thing I want to show you, which is actually very funny, right? This dude, I'm coming up with a video soon, but why I'm telling you this? Because you might fall for this again. You'll see a lot of influencers who probably did something shady back then and still going under the radar. And that's another topic I want to talk about, like saying something on your face, right? And, or backstabbing, which one would you prefer? Like someone who's very upfront on your face and say this, 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 and makes you upset, so-called, or someone who stabs you in the back, really gentle in front of you, like all good and, you know, hey, I'm a chocolate boy. And then you give him your money, excuse me, and then he gives you NFT and then like, stabs you, imposter, right? Well, I'm telling you this because check this out, right? This dude has half a million whatever followers, um, uh, subscribers on his Instagram, um, YouTube. He did a lot of stuff in the past and there's, everything is documented. Matter of fact, there's a rbl.cx slash x, and I don't want to show you this right now, but I'll have the links, okay? My primary focus is on these projects now. Superverse DAO, Plain Posters, New Tokyo Code, which we'll, we'll, I'll discuss in my video, right? And I make YouTube video as a hobby. So now you're making YouTube videos as a hobby, right? So this is exactly what I said, right? Create massive following on YouTube. And that's what I did, if you follow all the influencers. Make money shilling scams, BitBoy, crypto banter. Think about this. Maybe you, you haven't followed back, right? 2017 and, you know, onwards. Then raise money for Vaporware. Super Farm, Imposters, star, Super Starter. Oh my God, man. Eliotra's Impost, uh, what? Eliotra's NFTs. That's just him. Alex Baker was shilling all the Super Starter projects, ideos, which were, what was that? Yeah, donkey, monkey, some poker game, whatever, man. And now, so all that happened, he used, the, look at the irony, he used the YouTube channel, basically, to basically promote and shill indirectly, right? His own projects. Some, for, initially, he did the other projects, PRQ and other stuff. Then he started shilling his own projects, okay? And now he creates videos for, oh, by the way, he was also sponsored by FTX. He deleted the entire playlist and everything. It's all documented. You can see the screenshots and everything is there. Like, like I said, when I do the video, this is going to be the finale. I touched on this. That was my very first video three years, almost three years ago. I said it was the biggest scam. Nobody cares. But since I've been following like a hawk documenting, I need to finish it off, right? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish off, like close the chapter unless he comes, he's going to come with something big. I actually want to see what he does with the game. Because there's nothing, I explain the, you know, the shenanigan. Now I actually want to see what this whole thing comes out. Like, you know, the plane poster, what kind of game it, he comes out with? I want to actually see. Because I know he's waiting for people to forget about it, then change the bio to something else. Because this has been happening. If you, know, if you don't know, the Superverse was Super, super Farm. <laughs> Unbelievable. How is the SEC not going after all these dudes? You need to clean up these space in order for other retailers Innocent retailers, right? Clueless retailers to make some gains. Or else these dudes are going to come and wipe everything off. That's the reality. Okay? They are not playing fair or in any sorts. And unfortunately, I don't know how even the regulation allows them. He's being U.S. citizen. Like if you look at BitBoy, <laughs> Ben Coin and all this thing. Anyways, right? I'm showing you this for a reason. Because now he makes YouTube videos as a hobby. You're creating Bitcoin videos and all that, making 20,000 whatever money. Or from YouTube ads because high CPM, right? My money making niche. That's like it's a hobby. So his hobby is so expensive, like lucrative. He makes more money from his hobby than most people in their day jobs. Imagine that. And now, yeah, exactly the point, right? Trying to protect himself from all legal side. Like, hey, I'm using it YouTube as a hobby, so it's not a financial advice. You see what he's doing? All these influencers are doing somehow, like covering up. Understand, man. And unfortunately, I realized later. <laughs> That these are, we are in 30s, mid 30s, 40s, whatever, right? Most of our target audience, our, even mine, 
I didn't know. I thought, yeah, I have people who are watching who are in 35s, 40. Most of them are in like, what, 25 to 35 range, then onwards. So I was like, okay, I can, I can relate to even 14 years old, man, teenagers. Hey, <laughs> it's how it is, okay? I play video games. I enjoy stuff. But when I see all this thing, grifters at whatever age limit comes and just tries grifting with all this stuff, which literally has no purpose, makes me sad. Not only are they trying to destroy the gaming space, calling it like, hey, this guy doesn't know how to game. How about you bring this guy on GTA, man? I'll just destroy him. Anyways, even on Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. Keeping that aside, all right? This is what happened. Sell NFTs to young teenagers and raise more money. He didn't del deliver anything. And I'm just curious who's playing this game, okay? Huge sponsorship from FTX, then deletes everything. That's if not, not, it doesn't exist. Make YouTube videos as a hobby. The best way to make it in life. This is the, the blueprint right here in Marfield, ladies and gents. Anyways, yeah, I know. Five minutes of this, because this is important. If you know how all these big dudes operate, then you can be safer and understand and have an open mind, and then you can play the game. Because they will come and show you, give you all the narratives, and you'll buy into that instead of doing your own research, right? And then you lose everything. Because yeah, all of, most of them will, they have their so-called advisors in some projects, or this and this, this and this. Huh? Eh. I mean, there's a lot more to talk about good stuff, but you need to clear the bad stuff, okay? If you don't put the bad stuff out there, you can compare what is good and bad. And that's why there's yin yang, man. There's good and bad. There's ugly and beauty, man. Just so you can understand the difference. Anyways, DVPN, Evmos. Wow, shib. But this is out, okay? Today is Sunday. I'll come back um, again. Hopefully some, tomorrow, maybe. I'm working on something important. So I'll come back. I'll show you what's happening real. And last but not the least, check this out. Okay? Brian Armstrong. Okay, I thought this was Brian, the other dude. Ben. Ben Armstrong. This one. Um, what was that? Epic, every, no, no, no. This, this week in coins, Bitcoin coin surges, meme coin mania on legendary investors' death. Charlie Munger died. People created a meme coin right here. Look at this. This was almost three, three days ago. All right. News, <laughs> the Munger token launched after Charlie Munger's death briefly soared in value before collapsing. Whoa. Okay. I, I don't know about this right now, but look at this one. Experience a massive form of 31,000 person. 31,000. You must be kidding me. No way. Hold on, hold on. I, I just want to see this. And then I want to end it. I mean, this is, you know, this is exactly, I'll, I'll, let me tell you this, okay? If it wasn't death related or this kind of stuff, I wouldn't care. I really wouldn't care either. Like, maybe I wouldn't buy, but I, I didn't see it. But again, I don't support this kind of stuff, literally. All right? <laughs> when, I, when you're gaming, when you're in the, when you're in the market, when you're in, there's no emotion. All right? I'm a businessman, not a priest. That Arthur says that. Yeah, he's right about it, right? I'm not a businessman either. I mean, sorry, I'm not a president. I'm a businessman. I don't think I'm a businessman. Yeah. I'm just an executor, man. I just do. I execute. That's what I'm trying to do. And practice. And then I come and tell you exactly what I'm doing. I don't preach, though. Let me tell you, I don't preach. I'm not a preacher. All right? But, but what is this monger? It's not even here. Oh, yeah. Why would it be here? It's, it's a freaking mean token, right? Exactly. What's the point? Anyway. I don't want to pull any other charts right now for no reason. I want to just show you this real quick. Okay. And what else do I have? Yeah. Have a newsletter. If you're interested, masterofall.tech or unapologetic.info. And yeah, state of the current events once a week, real time. No bias, no BS, no spam. It's an email, letter, email newsletter sent directly to your inbox. Opt out anytime with one click. So unsubscribe button is just one click. Just letting you know. There's no manager or whatever. You click, you're gone. It's okay, no problem. But yeah, keeping it simple, okay? I was supposed to send one email on a week on Sunday. Today was Sunday, yeah. I also mentioned that I might not send emails if there's nothing worth sharing. And yeah, just because Bitcoin went to 40,000, I, I don't think that's like a news I have to just share. I want to, yeah, sim you know, keeping it simple, if I have something worth sharing, I'm going to send an email, all right? So take it easy, and uh, I will see you in the next email. Email. Yeah, I mean, video plus email. Peace.